Hello everyone. Uh, today's lesson will talk about uh, user parameters in Oracle Reports. So I'm using Oracle Reports 6i and developer 2000 and we will just, you know, I, as I've shown you one a previous video will be there where user parameters are uh, shown how to create user parameters. Today what I'm going to show you that how to create a comp uh, list of values in user parameters. Suppose uh, you have often might be used uh, user parameters where you input value. Uh, you might have used user parameters with date format, giving certain date format and all that. But today I'm going to show you uh, user parameter with list of values with existing values from the database. So let me tell you one thing that this list of list of values can be constant values as you provide or it can be from with some select statement. So first uh, let us show you one thing that how you will create a list of values uh, user parameters uh, from the user parameter in the object browser object navigator or you can also go through the data model. So I'll show you both of this. So first let's turn, uh, go to the data model and just click on the queries and here we will write say where uh, so, sorry, and EMP grade, EMP grade is, uh, just look into the query, there is two table, employee master and employee salary, uh, in employee master there are two fields, one is EMP underscore code and EMP name and from employee salary there is net pay. So this is joint, in the with in a join and from employee master I will see where EMP grade equal to colon uh, EMP E grade and name it E grade. Okay, so what happened as soon as you press OK, see what will happen. It will say the query Q1 has created the bind parameter E grade. Okay, so it's giving you information. It's not asking you whether to do it or not. It will do it automatically because it's considered that you have created one give provided on one user parameter. If the user parameter previously exists then no problem but it does not exit it will create its own so now if you go to the object navigator you will see there is one user parameter as e grade okay so by default what we see the it is by default characters and size 40 this is a by default value so what we will do now we will just delete this one and create from user parameters you can double click on the user parameters or you can click on this plus sign as you can see and I'll name it just E grade and go to the property palette. Now it is default number. What has been created from query block is a default character of the 40 size and now it is default number size. But this will be a character of size 1. Now see the main that's actual point where of this lesson that's the list of values. So I'll uh, go to the list of values, so there is a button as you know it uh, already happened in property palette. <coughs> so it will open another window. See there are static values and there is select statement. So first we will go with the static values. So in the static values I know what will be the values, what will be suppose well, possible values. The possible values are S and W. So I click uh, right S and add it and I W and add it. Okay. Now when we, we, let us just run the form. See, the two values are coming, S or W. So I click on S and press enter. See, all the S records are coming. And uh, let, me, let me tell you one thing that uh, employee code starting with S uh, with prefix S are all from S value. So let us be precise and provide another field here with EMP grid. So you can understand it. It is just will take some time. Uh, so I provide one, give some heading, 
mp grid so and uh, create one uh, let us just take, select the parent frame I put it in the frame this repeating frame and this is there is a field uh, uh, let us see uh, this one okay so I draw the field here and okay so uh, let us uh, uh, we need to do one thing we need to actually provide the column there I have uh, actually taken three fields so b dot make pay and just make it say a dot emp grid so it is done and now it's okay emp grid is there uh, just drag it between as you know the tower uh, report builder actually sort the uh, records regarding the first top records so it will sort it by the emp code so emp grade is there it will sort it it doesn't matter because we are selecting a single emp grade so now we will what we will do uh, we have taken it and just go to the layout uh, sorry so not live reviewer it will be the layout model okay so just select it and go to the source and select e -grade. so now go to the preview as you can see it is S so okay so let us run again and select the W so now it is all, all records are W you can check it uh, everything is W so now what we will do uh, we will just again go to the object navigator and go for our second option the second option is a select statement so go to the list of view and click on the button and select the, say, click the select, select statement select now see there are thousands of records and thousands of record there are thousands of w and thousands and thousands of s so it, it will be better if we take distinct value distinct okay first let us remove the distinct value and what see what happened emp grade from employee master you can guess what will happen run it see thousands and thousands of record because it is a unique value so we will just use a distinct so you can understand see we have used static value now we are, we are using SQL statement so it will just uh, take the uh, directly record from the database the table so it is more convenient because if the value change sometimes so say also W and S okay so so you can understand how we have created a list of values here I'm just going through this again here is the static value you can use static value here is a dynamic value and uh, another thing uh, let us let me show you that is uh, height first column I've missed this one this is because see when your user is selecting from the parameter so there is only W and S so is it worthy to show something like that not worthy so if we do one thing that we the first column is always the column value which is, which will be passed into the SQL, uh, SQL statement inside the data block so if we want to show some description so what we will do we will just uh, use here by here we will use decode emp grade if it is w then we provide worker else stuff okay so and give here height first column so what will happen if we don't provide height first column it will say a staff w worker 
Okay, so same thing will happen. And if you want to make it more precise, more precise, if you don't want to show the S and W, just click on hide first column and click on OK. Now see what will happen. Staff and worker. So it is more readable, more user friendly to user. So understand? I'll say they will select this and click on this W and for staff. So this is all about list of values in user parameter. Uh, I hope you like the video. Please do like, press the like button if you like the video, and also subscribe. You can subscribe to my channel. It's ACBHR one nine zero seven seven six. So what's coming with uh, more videos on report builders and from swamps? If you are interested in this, to subscribe and watch for more interesting, learnable video on report builder. Thank you very much.